Hi guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will talk about the Bulk Update API. It is an API that gives you an ability to update multiple objects with a single API call. And you can update a single property or multiple properties, and the objects to be updated are identified with a WHERE clause, identical to the way it works with the Bulk Delete API. I will go over some um, animations with uh, slides to demonstrate the mechanics of how bulk update works. Then we'll review that API in REST console. And finally, there will be a demo with UI Builder and Codeless. Bulk update will work again, just like with any other API. If you are using coding, the mechanics of using bulk update with code is going to be exactly the same as with codeless. Codeless provides a, a more visual way to see how the actual API works. But uh, let's start with uh, the slide that I have prepared and review the actual mechanics of the bulk update API. Here, these blue lines, let's say that they are records in the database and uh, a request for bulk update comes in and it contains uh, a where clause as I mentioned and the, what we call update template. The way this will work is the, uh, the where clause goes to work and identifies the actual objects that will be updated. So any object that matches the condition expressed in the where clause becomes a candidate for update. So these yellow lines are let's say that they are the objects that will be updated. Once these objects are identified, then the update template goes to work. And then the update template consists of one or more properties containing values that will be applied to the select to the records selected with where clause. So the properties in the update template must match or must exist in the table where the bulk update is going to happen. In this example here, I have two properties, rating and price. So we just need to, uh, this assumes that the records that the table where I'm sending the request to has the rating column and price column. Or, and then this way you could have multiple properties as long as they exist in the target table. So then what happens is from this update template, we take the values, and by the way, here on the screen, this is the, let's say just some values for the rating and price that already exist in the database. Then the values are being sent, and here I'm anim animating just five, but the same thing happens with 2250 for the price, it goes out, and they are being written to the uh, corresponding columns in the objects that are being updated. So that's how it works. And this, uh, with this, uh, mechanism, your work clause could target uh, multiple objects. There is really no limit. And uh, it becomes a very versatile mechanism for performing very large updates in the system. So now with this in mind, let's switch to Backendless Console and see how it would work in action when we start using the actual API. Back in Backendless Console, we will work with the product table since it already has rating and price exactly the same uh, columns that I used in the example in my slide. And let's switch to REST console and uh, see how this would work. So in the request body, this is where we will specify the um, the actual update template, but we also need to specify where clause. So for instance, let's say we will select all the objects where rating equals three. Let's see if there are any objects like this. So yeah, there are, there are I think there are just three objects. So that's, that's great. So now this will be our, our where clause. So these objects will be updated and the update template will look like this. So let's say for everything that is where the rating is three, we will raise that rating to five. And also let's set the price to whatever, 35. Now, to make this a bulk operation, bulk update operation, you will need to select bulk operation checkbox. And now when you click put, that will send out a request uh, to Backendless to perform that bulk update. The request URL is modified accordingly. Notice that there is bulk word in the endpoint and there is a where clause. The uh, request body will contain the actual update template. And now when I click put, 
request goes out and in the response you get a number of objects that were updated with this bulk update operation to confirm that uh, these properties were have changed uncheck bulk operation click get because we already have this uh, rating equals three let's remove uh, actually we changed rating to five so now let's change the rating equals five click get and now as you can see we have uh, actually, we got more objects because there were some other objects with rating equals five. But what we can do is we can say rating equals five and price equals, I believe we set it to 35. Click get. And now we got these three objects that were modified with our bulk update. So that's, that's how it works. Now let's do the same thing, but with uh, UI Builder and Codeless just to solidify the knowledge. For this, let's switch to the front end section. And now let's create a new page. You will need to select a uh, page template from the marketplace. In here, you will locate uh, this template. It is lecture bulk update API lecture 29. This is that's the current lecture you're watching right now. And let's give it a name. Let's call it bulk update and click create. So this is this is the page template. Let's run it first to see how it works. And then we will take a look at the logic behind this page. So now uh, page ran, we loaded uh, some products from the table. And now as we select individual objects, then this part of the UI is uh, modified where we see that there are four objects to update. And then this form serves as that update template. So in here, let's say that for all of these, for all four selected objects, we will set the price to, for example, 99 and rating to 6.5 we will leave category untouched. So click update selected objects. And as you can see, for these four first four objects, price became 99 and rating is 6.5. So we know that that works. In fact, if I reload the page and refresh it, basically fetching it again from the database, you see that these values are now exactly as what we updated them. And here, if I were to select uh, and update the category and just click update selected objects with the category, then only the category property would get updated. Let's take a look at how it is implemented from the logic perspective. So all of the logic here for performing a bulk update will be in uh, f uh, behind this button, update selected objects. So select the button and go into the logic for that. So in here, this is the on-click event for the button. And then the focus of this lecture is actually this block, bulk update. And as you can see, this block takes three parameters. There are three connectors. First one is the table name. That's the table where we're sending the request to, and it is product. Then there is a work clause. And then this build work clause function right here, it is exactly the same logic that I used in the bulk delete. So in here, the actual uh, work clause is calculated where we do object ID in, and then in the parentheses, we enumerate object IDs that were selected in the UI. So those, only those objects will be updated. And then the changes connector is the actual update template. And that's going to be the data model of the form. So if I were to specify rating and price and category or any combination of those, then the update form data will contain the actual object with the properties that I have uh, specified in the form. So that's how the actual update template is formed. So then the bulk update block if you're going to start using it, you will find it in data API. Scroll uh, to the bottom and in here, it's uh, it's about like three quarters of the list down. You will see this bulk update. So this is the block that I'm using. And then the rest of the logic is updating the objects in UI. This is uh, this is the logic. So here in, in here, what I'm doing is basically I, I know what the changes are. So I'm applying these changes to the records that are displayed in the UI, again, to avoid making uh, an additional call to the database to bring those objects because I know what the new values are. And that's it. So again, this is this is the main focus of this lecture.
Um, it's pretty simple, but um, I know some people struggled because we're, we're getting some questions in the forum, and I hope that this becomes very clear as to how bulk update works with Backendless. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, happy coding.